Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I worship you, Lord. I give you praise. Ancient of days, I honor you. I welcome your presence. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Spirit. Eternal rock of ages, I welcome your presence in this broadcast. Take over. Take preeminence. Move by your power tonight. Yes, God. Father, begin to do that which only you can do. Take all the glory. There is no one like you. You are worthy to be lifted. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be exalted. Take over. Take preeminence. Father, take your place tonight. Take your place. Begin to do that which only you can do. Take all the glory. Mali shut. I take authority over the airwaves. Let every power of the enemy be arrested by the power in the name of Jesus. Every satanic mandate, every satanic agenda is negated by the blood of Jesus. Move by your power tonight. Le mashata reba kusata. Le branda haya kasata. Le mashata rebo kusunta. Let every power of the enemy be negated, be neutralized, be nullified by the power in the name that is above every name. They so all take over, King of glory. Father, begin to touch the heart of your people. Begin to touch the life of your people. Begin to heal. Begin to restore. Begin to empower your people begin to do that which only you can do and take all the glory thank you jesus i give you praise i give you honor i give you adoration you are worthy to be lifted you are worthy to be magnified you are worthy to be exalted ancient of days have your way tonight. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Begin to do a new thing. Merely shut Baba. Take over. Take preeminence. Father, tonight is greater grace for greater glory. Begin to empower your people with your grace. The grace, oh my shatter, the grace of God. Divine enhancer. Divine empowerment. Divine access. Divine establishments. Father, begin to do a new thing. Yes. That we spring forth by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Take over. Take preeminence. Take control. There's no one like you. You are worthy to be lifted. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, ancient of days. There's no one like you. Father, we worship you tonight. Begin to do that which only you can do. And take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. Lama shata yaba kusata. Zibrande hayama male shata. Oh, thank you, Lord. We give you praise tonight. Have your way. Have your way. Thank you if you tune in. May the Lord bless you for tuning in. May the Lord bless you. And as you tune in, please help us to share so that more people can come in and, you know, hear what the Lord has for us tonight. I believe that it will be a blessing to every one of us. Thank you, Lord. There's no one like him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be honored. Help us to share. Help us to share. Great grace awaits you. Oh, in this 2023, the Lord of hosts has stepped into your circumstances, into your destiny. Uh, the Lord is doing that which only him can do. And he will take all the glory. He will take all the glory. He will take all the glory. He is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be honored. He's worthy to be exalted. Oh, he's worthy to be lifted. Open your heart and begin to receive that which God has for you tonight. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy to be exalted. Oh, thank you, Lord of hosts. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, ancient of days. We honor you. We give you praise. Daddy, we exalt your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Facebook, I don't have right to this music. We give him glory. We honor him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please help us to share. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. Wow, oh. 
help us to share so that many can come in tonight. Hallelujah. I didn't know he would honor us this way. God is about to honor you. It's your season of greater glory. And tonight you're receiving impartation for great grace, for great glory. Glory. God is about to honor you like you, you can't even imagine. He will do exceedingly abundantly above that which you can imagine or think. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. He's worthy to be lifted. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I give you praise and honor. I give you adoration tonight. Be thou honored. Be thou magnified. Be thou exalted. Eternal rock of ages, we honor you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for ushering us into this new year. Thank you for doors that you're already opening. Thank you, Lord, for making way even where there is no way. Thank you, Lord, for testimonies that are already rolling in. Thank you, ancient of days. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Oh, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Adam and Sissi, for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we give you praise tonight. We give you honor. Oh, we give you adoration. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. We exalt your name in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Tonight is greater grace for greater glory. Greater grace. You're receiving that double grace, that greater grace for greater glory. God is taking you to a new realm, to a new place. Hallelujah. God is doing that which only him can do yes. in this season. And indeed, oh, you are going to marvel for what God is about to do in your life. The Bible says he's doing a new thing and he shall spring forth by the power in the name of Jesus. That which God is doing in your life will surely spring forth. No power can stop it in this season. No power can hinder you. Every satanic roadblock by the power in the name of Jesus is destroyed. We destroy every satanic roadblock, every satanic agenda, every satanic mandate to hinder, every authority of the enemy to hinder. Oh, by the power in the name of Jesus, that yoke is broken, that power is negated. That which God has ordained for you in this season will surely come to pass. No power can stop it. I decree and I declare that is your season of greater glory and you will surely step into that realm of greater glory by the power in the name that is above every name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord of hosts. There's no one like Jehovah. Mali Shanda Hayababa. Le Brakayama Kusata. Le Makashata Yababa. Le Mande Kasunta. The angelic host are on assignment for your sake in this season. Uh, they are fighting every battle. They are opening every door. Every, every closed door is opened by the power in the name that is above every name. Not only that is open, it's opening by its own accord. The Bible says, when the angel that came to bring Peter out of the prison was taking him out, the Bible said when they got to the iron gate, the iron gate opened by its own accord. Every gate that will lead you to your breakthrough, that will lead you to your promised land in this season, in this your season of greater glory, it will surely open by its own accord. By the power in the name of Jesus, oh, there will be a supernatural assistance for you. The angelic hosts are at work, they are working for you by the power in the name that is above yes. every name. Mali Shanda Hayababa, Le Kazondo Kosunta Yababa, Amako, I command every form of delay, every demonic delay be destroyed, be destroyed. Every arrow of delay, every power of delay is negated by the blood of Jesus. Le Mashata Yaba Kosata, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. The King of glory has come in. Male Shata, great grace for you. Great grace. Great grace for greater glory. Great grace. Divine enablement. Divine assistance. Ah, Maleka, that power is released over you by the power in the name that is above every name. No power can hinder you in this season. Every authority of the enemy speaking against you. Every power standing as adversary against you by the power in the blood of Jesus. That yoke is broken. That power is negated. The authorities of the enemy is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Male Shata.
Malika Zunde Hayaba. I declare that no power of the enemy can stop you by the power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Who is it that says a thing and it comes to pass if God has not ordained it? That which God has ordained for you in 2023, it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. You will possess your possession. Oh, Maleka Sata. It's time to rise up. The Bible says, Right from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And he says, The violent ones take it by force. Oh, in this season, you're taking it by force. You're not taking no for an answer. The enemy cannot stop you. That which God has ordained will come to pass. We break every yoke of delay. We break every power of stunted growth. Every power of going around the circle. Every authority that is saying no. Every power that's saying over their dead body. Indeed, they will surely die for your sake because that which God has ordained will surely come to pass. Oh, Rashata, Yama, Mama. I declare an open heavens. Open heavens. Open heavens for favor. Open heavens for great grace. Open heavens for divine assistance. Open heavens. Thank you. For divine actualization, yes. open heavens, Malekasha, because the good book of remembrance is open for you, Malashata. Every hand that is holding your breakthrough, every hand that is holding your next level, ah, by the power in the name of Jesus, I command them to release it. Oh, Rashata, whatever belongs to us that the enemy is holding, I command a divine release. I command divine with by fire and by force, divine release, release the breakthrough, release the favor, release the blessing, release. Release the peace, release the joy, release everything that belongs to the children of God that you are taking. I break every shackles of the enemy. Every shackles of the enemy over your life is broken by the power in the name that is above every name. It doesn't matter what is happening around you. It doesn't matter what is happening in your life. I have come to let you know that you carry a special grace and I activate it tonight. I speak it into existence. That grace that is upon your life. Life, that favor, that power that God has put over your life. I decree and I declare. Oh, Rashata, yeah, Mama. Oh, that power is released over you tonight. I activate it. I agree with you. When two shall agree as reaching anything is established, I agree with you tonight that it shall come to pass. It's activated. Your helpers will locate you. Oh, Maleka Shata. Everyone that is holding your next level. Ah, Maleka Shata. They will not have peace until they locate you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord of hosts. Thank you, King of glory. He is God all by himself. He is God all by... I don't know your circumstances. <laughs> but what I know is a God that changes every circumstances. Is a God that changes time and season. And in this season, God is changing your season for good. Amen. God is changing your season Amen. for greater glory. Amen. God is preparing you. God Amen. is saying, oh, moving you to that place. Amen. Joshua said to the people in Joshua, I think, 3 verse 5. He said, in 5 verse 3, he said, prepare, you, sanctify yourself. Because in a few days, the Lord will do wonders. Amen. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, praise God. Thank you. Put it up, Pastor Rem. I think it's Joshua 3, verse 5. Hallelujah. You. Sanctify yourself for in few days, in few days, the Lord will do wonders for you. I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what your expectations are. The Bible says the expectations of the righteous cannot be cut off. The expectation, your expectation cannot be cut off. Your expectation, that which God, oh, Rashataya Mama, oh, yeah, Joshua 3, verse 5. And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves to, for tomorrow. I'm even saying, if you say for tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders Amen. among you. Sanctify yourself. Prepare yourself. Amen. Position your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Believe what you're, you're expecting. You know, sometimes we, we, we're expecting something, but we keep speaking negative. No, believe that thing Amen. which you're saying. Uh, call the things that be Amen. not as though they Amen. were. Amen. As you're coming to God, as you say you're believing God, believe Amen. that he's God. Amen. And the Bible says he's a rewarder of them that diligently Amen. seek him. Amen. Believe God. Believe God. The Bible said to them that Amen. believe, there shall be a performance Amen. of the things that 
that has been spoken concerning Amen. them. That which God is saying to you, you already know it is in your heart. I speak it into existence. It's your season of greater grace. What you are not able to do, what you, 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 you don't even know how, but God is bringing it to pass. God is positioning the right people. God is removing every barrier, breaking every shackles of limitation, every satanic mandate, every satanic cause. It doesn't matter where they have prayed it. It doesn't matter where they have concorded it. It doesn't matter what the enemy is saying concerning you. I have come to let you know that God has stepped into your situation and that, that stone is rolled away. That stone of limitation is rolled away. That gate that has been shut against you, it has opened by its own accord. You are operating on a greater grace. Greater grace. Anointing of ease is upon you. Anointing of fruitfulness is upon you. Anointing of favor is upon you. Anointing of attraction. Divine attraction. The Bible says when a man's way pleases God, even your enemies, they will be at peace with you. Your case is different. Ah, Malishata, it's your time. Your time has come. It's your turn. It's your season to possess your possession. It's your season to operate on a higher dimension of grace and power and prosperity. Everything that you, I'm telling you, God is taking you to a journey, on a journey, a journey that nations of the world will hear, they will experience and they will see the hand of God upon your life. This Joshua 3, verse 7. Joshua, oh my gosh, God was saying to Joshua, and the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt Amen. you in the sight of all Israel, Amen. that they may know that as I was with Moses, I will be with you. Amen. God is about to begin to exalt. I don't know if he would have castigated you. I don't know Amen. whatever it is that's happened. I don't care what circumstances Amen. you are in or whatever you're going through. Or it, it might be that you don't even have anything or in your in your Amen. pocket or maybe nothing is happening in your life. But the word of the Lord is coming Amen. to you. The word of Amen. God is God Amen. by himself. Oh, the Bible said the entrance of the world brings light. Oh, my shatter. And understanding to the simple day. The word of God is bringing light yes. to that darkness. Amen. The word of God is coming to you say uh, from this day Amen. I will begin to exalt you Amen. I will begin to announce you Amen. I will begin to make name for Amen. myself Amen. in your life Amen. in the sight of everybody Amen. even your critics Hallelujah. even the people that have looked down on you Amen. even the people that think it will never happen Amen. the Lord is saying to you from today Amen. from tonight that is a night of greater grace Amen. God is empowering you to do that which is positioning yes, you to do God is opening the door Hallelujah. for that which is saying to you to be able to happen yes. God is doing that which only him can do oh Amen. hallelujah i will begin to magnify you i begin to exalt you i'll begin Amen. to announce you Amen. i'll begin to endorse you Amen. ah the anointing of divine endorsement Amen. is coming to somebody this Amen. night oh an anointing of divine endorsement Amen. god is putting that seal Amen. that seal of now that thing that hasn't happened all along Amen. is about to happen Amen. i don't know what it is that you think it didn't happen or oh, you prayed you've done everything but the lord is saying now it shall come to pass Amen. oh hallelujah Amen. now now, that prayer will be answered. Amen. You don't even have, no, no, because God has done it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He has done it. Now, now begin, people begin to see you from a different, you know, angle. Amen. It will no longer be from what they know. No, no, no. Supernaturally. Hallelujah. Because the anointing of attraction is Amen. upon you. The anointing of greater grace. The anointing to do exploit. Amen. The anointing to possess. Amen. The anointing Amen. Ah, ah, to be used as a role model Amen. for the kingdom. Oh, that anointing is upon yes. you. And God is exalting his Amen. name Amen. in your life. Oh, male shata ya baba. Oh, Whatever it is, the Lord said, I have done it. Amen. And it shall come to pass. Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, it doesn't matter what is happening. Look at the book of Genesis, Genesis 6. Oh, hallelujah. If you read it, you see that there was a lot of things happening from the, the beginning. And the Bible talks about, you know, the sin in the world and everything that was happening. Mm -hmm. And God decided to, to, to kind of change the world or destroyed the earth but somebody found grace Amen. in the sight of god genesis 6 hallelujah yes. somebody found grace in the sight of god hallelujah don't look at what is happening wherever you are whatever nation you you are residing you understand because when you carry the grace yes. there is a difference that means your case is different go back a bit let me you know just kind of you know clarify some, you know, so the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created. That's from verse 7. 
You maybe go back to like verse 5. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil, continually. Are you that kind of person? He's just thinking evil, always thinking evil. It didn't start today. In the days of Noah, the Bible said God suddenly saw that the, the heart of man is wicked. And oh my God, every thought of man, every intent of the thought of man's heart is evil continually. Are you in the category of such people? Always plotting evil, always plotting evil. And what happened next? He said, and the Lord was sorry that he had made, the, made man on the earth and he was grieved in his heart. I don't know your purpose on earth. Is God, you know, rejoicing that you're on earth? Are you influencing somebody positively? Are you among the people that your footprint is being seen on the, on, on, on the earth? Are you among the people that are part of solutions? The people that God is using. Hallelujah. You don't have to be a pastor to do the work of God. Oh, praise God. And the Lord was sorry. The Bible says, so the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping things and birds and of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. And verse 8, the Bible says, but Noah found grace Amen. in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the midst of the wickedness of the world and, and evil continually and everything that was happening. Somebody found grace. Amen. And in this season, you are the one that will find grace. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You will find grace. You will Amen. be among the people that Amen. are highly favored. Amen. Oh, the angel said to Mary, thou art highly favored. Oh, God have chosen you. You are a part of solution. You are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. Amen. Yes, you are the right Thank candidate you, for that appointment. You are the right candidate for that Amen. contract. Amen. You are the right candidate yes, for that Lord. position. Amen. Why? Because the hand of God is upon yes, There is a seal of endorsement upon you. Amen. Why? Because there is great grace Amen. upon your life. Amen. Great grace for greater glory. Amen. Wherever you are, whatever sector you are, the power of the Holy Ghost yes. is overshadowing you now. Yes. You don't know how, but God knows how. Amen. The angel, Mary said to the angel, how will this be? You're telling me I'm going to have a son. I'm a virgin. And the angel said to Mary, the power of the Holy Ghost will overshadow you. Amen. It's not by what God is about to do in your life in this season. It's not by your power. It's not by your mind. It is by the Spirit of God. Uh, the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. is overshadowing you. Amen. The power, everything that is needed, the wisdom of God for creative ideas. Oh, everything that is needed, the favor, the, the right people. The, you will be at the right place at the right time. That which God has spoken concerning your life will surely come to pass in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says, Noah found grace. Noah found grace. Oh, hallelujah. Noah found grace. May you receive grace even in this season. Whatever is happening on the earth, you will be among the people. Your family is secured. You are secured. Everything about you is shit because the anointing of divine immunity is upon your life. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Oh, malashataya baba. Because Noah obeyed with the instruction God gave to him to build an ark. That ark was an ark of safety. Amen. Noah and his household and the animals Amen. that entered that ark, they were preserved. Amen. God will preserve you in this season. Amen. I say the Lord will preserve you. Amen. The Lord will preserve you. Amen. The Lord will preserve He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my fortress. In Him I will stand. Oh, hallelujah. When you're dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, no evil shall befall you. Amen. Weapons of the enemy formed or fashioned against you will not prosper. Every Amen. tongue that rises against you in judgment is condemned. Why? Because the hand of God is upon you. The grace of God is covering you. The grace of God is upon you. Oh, hallelujah. In this season, oh, the Lord of hosts will do wonders for you. Sanctify yourself for tomorrow I will do wonders. Amen. And verse 5 of Joshua 3, he said, Oh, he said, I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel. It can be people in Lagos, it can be people in London, it can be in UK, in Nigeria, in America, wherever you are. 
The Lord will begin to exalt you. The Lord will begin to magnify things that it, people trivialize all along. All of, all of a sudden, they begin to see the importance of those things. They begin to cherish those things. They begin Amen. to tap into what you're doing. God is doing a new Amen. thing. Amen. And indeed, it shall Amen. spring forth. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you listening? He, no, he said, no one found grace. You will find grace. Amen. The favor of God is upon you. Amen. The hand of God is upon you. Amen. The hand of God is carrying you on eagle swing. Amen. On eagle swing. Amen. And he's taking you from glory Amen. to glory. From victory Amen. to victory. From blessing to blessing. Amen. From one situation on Amen. to the other. Amen. God is taking Amen. you on eagle swing. Amen. And you will possess all your possession. Amen. In the name of Jesus. There's nothing that God has done for you that the enemy can withhold. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Every prince of pressure that want to take hold of your blessing. Every prince of pressure that is withholding the completion of that business. Every prince of pressure that is a hindrance oh, to that which God has already given answer. Oh, by the power in the name of Jesus. We command those powers to bow. We command those powers to bow. We command those powers to bow. We command, to bow. We command the powers of the enemies be shattered. Oh, that that which God has released will surely reach somebody's hand. Amen. Oh, praise God. You, Hallelujah. Look at what happened to Daniel. And the Bible said the, the angel that was sent to go and give this answer to Daniel was held by the prince of Persia. And thank God that he continued to pray and fast. As we are doing this 21 days fast, Daniel was on 21 days of praying and seeking the face of God. He didn't stop. Mm. Not knowing that as he prayed, God answered. Amen. But the Bible said the prince of Persia withheld that angel. Mm. And another angel was deployed from heaven to go and release this angel that has this answer Amen. to Daniel's prayer. Hallelujah. I don't know the power that is holding the, the breakthrough that is already released. I don't know the power that is hijacking the answer to the prayer that God has already released. Amen. That prayer point that you keep raising and the Lord is saying, I have already answered. Amen. Every prince of any nation, Amen. every demonic priestess, Amen. every demonic priest, every authority, Hallelujah. every kingdom, Amen. every coven, Amen. every power from the marine, Amen. every power from any, wherever they are coming Amen. from that is holding whatever belongs to you, belongs to us. By Amen. the power in the name of Jesus, we command their hands to wither Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We command the angelicals to go and recover all that belongs Amen. to us. Recover and release to the people Amen. by the power in the name Amen. of Jesus. We command total Amen. release of the breakthroughs. Amen. Total release Amen. of the blessing. We release the fire Amen. of the Holy Ghost to consume every demonic altar. Amen. Holding anything that belongs to us. Amen. Holding that breakthrough. Amen. Holding that business. Amen. Holding that Amen. answer. Amen. Holding that blessing. Amen. Holding your peace. Amen. Holding your joy. Amen. Holding that greatness. Amen. Holding that which Amen. God has released to you. By the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the fire of God consume their Amen. altars consume their kingdom, their covens, wherever they gather against you, they will fall for your sake and fire consume them tonight. Oh, by the power in the name of Jesus. You are recovering all. David said to God, oh, can I pursue this troop? Oh, can I, will I be able to recover? God said, now pursue them. Not only that you will overtake them, you will surely recover all. In this season, you are about to recover all. You're going to recover all, 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 all that the enemy has stolen. Amen. You will recover Amen. all by the power in the name of Amen. Jesus. You will recover all, all your lost blessings. The Bible says, I will restore. He said, I will restore to you what the canker worms, the caterpillar, the palmer worms has eaten. He said, you will eat in plenty and you will not be put to shame. Oh, my shatayaba. Everything the enemy has stolen from you. Those answers, those things that God have released and the enemy took hold of them by the power in the name of Jesus. We command them to release every of our blessings. Release the blessing, release the favor, release the marriage, release the joy, release the peace, release the business, complete the sale of that house, complete that business, complete whatever the enemy has taken hold of by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise tonight. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Noah found grace. And you will surely find grace. Amen. Oh, in this season, you will find grace Amen. by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, 2 Timothy 2.1. The Bible says, you therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. 
Be strong in that grace. Be strong in the grace. Male shatter. Or no matter what the enemy, stand still and see God work for you in this season. Amen. Stand still and see God open that door. Stand still and see God fight your battles. Oh, yeah, my shatter. You, stand still and see God or oh, remove the Thank tires of the enemy. Yeah, like the children of, of Egypt was, was saying to themselves, look, these people, it's like God is fighting for them Amen. because their chariot could not move fast anymore. Amen. They know somebody knew that something was wrong. Yeah. In the camp of your enemy, you might be thinking, oh, they are doing this, they are saying this. No, they know that the hand of God is upon you. Amen. They are already feeling that God is fighting your Amen. battle. Whether you know it or not, God said, I will fight your battles and you will hold your peace. Amen. That's part of the package of grace. Hallelujah. Greater grace, Malako Shata. Great glory, greater glory Hallelujah. is upon you in this season. And God has surrounded you with Amen. the angelic hosts that are working for you. Yes. They are working for you. They are working for you. They are around you. They're surrounding you. Oh, they are good. Male Kashata. Male Makusata. Every power rising against you. We scatter them by fire. We scatter them by fire. We negate their powers. We neutralize every power of the enemy. And we are declaring today you will flourish. You will possess your possession. You will actualize everything that God has put in your hand. Oh, that which God has spoken shall come to pass in your life by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. Look at the book of Psalm 34. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Verse eight, from verse 7. Psalm 34. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I want you to know that in this season, yes. God is about to take you to a place in your, in your journey of life Amen. that you will know that indeed God Amen. works. Amen. God works. Oh, praise God. The angel of the Lord encamped around all those who fear him. Are you listening to that? The angel of the Lord encamped around all those who fear him. I don't know how afraid you are. How, I don't know your situation. But the word of God is coming to you that the angel of the Lord, I was already prophesying that to somebody, that God is surrounding you with angels. And now this scripture is talking about the angel of the Lord and come around those who fear him and delivers them. Amen. Yes, people will plot. That's what I'm say. They will surely gather against you. They will surely plot against you. They will surely boast one thing or say one thing or the other. He said, God said, but it's not by me. Amen. Whoever gathers against Amen. you, they will Amen. fall for your sake. And he said, no weapon formed or fashioned against you will prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, I condemn it tonight. I condemn it tonight. I condemn it tonight. I condemn it tonight. In the name of Jesus. The angel of the Lord encamps around all those who fear him yes. and delivers them. And the next verse says, oh, thank you, Jesus. Delivers them from the hands of the enemy, from the plots of evil men. Yes. He said, oh, taste and see that the Lord oh, is good. God. Bless is the man who trusts in him. Bless is the man who trusts in God. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord in this season. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Lean not on your own understanding. Amen. In all your ways, acknowledge God. Hallelujah. And he will direct your path to your wealthy places in this season. He will direct your path to your safety in this season. God will direct your path to that which he has ordained you to be. On that place he has ordained you to be. Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, blessed is the man who trusts in him. Blessed is the man. Oh, praise God. Let me look at Jeremiah 33 from verse 2. Blessed is the man that trusts in God. We're talking about great grace. How can you operate in grace if you don't put your trust in the Lord? If you don't put your trust, if you don't, if you don't hope on, you know, put your trust in in the one who is the source. He is the source. Oh, hallelujah. Jeremiah 33 from verse 2. He said, thus says the Lord who made it. <laughs> Whatever it is, he made it. Whatever is the situation. In fact, that's a, he said, thus says the Lord who made it. The Lord who formed it. To establish it. The Lord is his name. Yes. The Lord is his name. Are you listening to that? Whatever it is, trust God. He's the one that can make it happen. Amen. He's the one that can make it permanent. Amen. Certain things might delay. Delay is not denial. Amen. The Lord is saying to you, trust me in this. Amen. Let go 
of your power and you know your uh, abilities and your in intelligence and your intel intellectualizing <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Let go of your intellectuality or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about. That you're so, you're an intellectual. You know how, no. Let go. Sometimes what God is saying might not sound like uh, what an intellectual will say. That's why he say, I will twat the wisdom of the wise. And I will use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Hallelujah. It's time to just be foolish for God. Let God be God. Let, let God and let go and let God. So that the glory will be. He said, my glory I will share with no man. But because when you have to act like you're the one doing it, you're the one thinking it, you're doing No, at the end of the day, you see that you will not be able to give full glory to God. Yes. Because you think it's because of the people you know. It's because of, oh, you thought this, you did this. No, no, no. Let God be God in this season. Yes. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord who made it. The Lord who formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. And the next verse says what? Well, he said, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Amen. I will show you great and mighty things. Whatever you're looking for, he has the answer. Whatever you're looking for, he has the solution. Amen. Whatever you're desiring, he's the one that can give it. He's the one that can sustain it. He's the one that can open and no man can shut. Amen. He's the one that says yes and no man can say no. If God be for you, who can be against you? Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. Are you listening to what the word of God is saying? Praise God. Listen, let, let's quickly look at the book of Leviticus 26 verse 9. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rashata ya makosata. Malende kasunta ya bababa. Oh, that Jeremiah said, call to me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. I will show you, because in the book of Leviticus 26, verse 9, he said, for I will look on you favorably. God is looking on you favorably. God is looking at your family, your children. God is looking at your business. God is looking at the work of your hand favorably. And he said, and I will make you fruitful. I will multiply you and confirm my covenant with you. That's the word of the Lord. Listen, he said, put me in remembrance of my word. Remind me what I promise you. Oh, put me in remembrance. Remind me what I promised. And he said, I will look on you favorably. Hallelujah. I will look on you. God is saying it to you. Yes, you. I will look on you favorably and make you fruitful. You're going to be fruitful more than your expectation in this season because great grace is released upon you. Great grace for great glory. Divine actualization. Divine manifestation. Oh, God is about to magnify himself in your life in this season. Oh, hallelujah. I will make you fruitful. I will multiply you. I will confirm my covenant with you. Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. That's the word of the Lord. Amen. I will confirm my covenant. Hallelujah. I will confirm my covenant. Amen. I, I will look on you favorably. I don't know what you're going through, but please see yourself as what the angel said to Mary. Mary, you are highly favored. Thou art highly favored. Oh, praise God. Thou art highly favored. Adama, thou art highly favored. Udo, thou art highly favored. Oh, queen, thou art highly favored. That's the word of the Lord. Oh, Mary was one. What kind of greeting is this? Thou art highly. The Lord said, I will look favorably. I'm looking favorably on you. I will make you fruitful. I will multiply whatever you have. Wherever, whatever level you are, God is saying to you, I'm promoting you. I'm elevating you. I'm, I'm going to, I'm taking you yes. to a higher level. Amen. Oh, it doesn't matter how. Listen, God is taking you yes. to a place of being a distribution Amen. center. God is taking you to a place of knowing that I release it to her. Amen. Oh, the world will get it. Amen. Whoever, I'll have it for Amen. we. Oh, my Amen. shatter. Thank God you. is taking you to a new realm. He said, I will confirm my yes. covenant with you. My shatter. God never breaks his covenant. God have chosen
chosen you for such a time as this. God have chosen you for such a time as this. Oh, Maleka Sata. He's looking favorably on you. It doesn't matter what the enemy is trying to make you feel or how the enemy is making you feel. Believe God. Believe the word of God. Oh, trust God. He will not let you down. He will not let you down. Oh, yeah, he's looking favorably on you. He's making you fruitful. Oh, Kashata. He's breathing. You might not even see anything. The Bible says you might not see the wind or the cloud or the rain. Oh, he said, but your valley shall be filled. The Lord will do it. The Lord will do it. Out of nothing, out of the dust, he formed man. Out of nothing, God will confirm that business. Out of nothing, God will move mountains for you. Every mountain standing before you becomes a plain from today. Every power of limitation, every stunted growth is broken. That power is negated. Every wall of Jericho that is standing between you and your breakthrough, that wall crumbles from today. You're stepping into your promised land. Oh, you're stepping into your promised land. Every crooked path is made straight by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, every valley is lifted today by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Malika Zonde Hayababa. Great grace for fruitfulness. Oh, great grace because the word of God says, I am looking favorably on you. Great grace for the favor of God. Unmerited favor. Unmerited favor. Amen. Wherever you go, divine access will be granted Amen. to you. People that hated you before, oh, yes. suddenly they begin to love you because God is looking on you favorably. Amen. It's your season. Hallelujah. It's your time. It's your turn. Amen. The Lord is lifting you up. Amen. The Lord is making way Amen. for you even where there is no way. Amen. He said, I will multiply Amen. you and Amen. I will confirm my covenant with you. Oh, Amen. the glory of God is upon your Amen. life. No power can stop you in this season. Amen. As long as you hold on to Jehovah, Amen. as long as you hold on to the word of God because irrespective of the fact that we always focus on maybe one prosperity or the other. Oh, hallelujah. If you look at the book of Deuteronomy, if you will diligently obey, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. We're talking about great, great grace for great glory or greater glory, but there are expectations from God. Oh, hallelujah. Deuteronomy 28, hallelujah. If you will diligently obey my commandment, which I command you today, Hallelujah. Oh, praise. Now he said, now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. He will set you high. Amen. Whatever you're looking for is in the hand of God. He's the one that will make it happen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the one that will make it. Obedience is what God is requiring from you. Let's not be a generation that don't want to obey God. Let's not be a generation that just, oh, we don't, we're not interested in the word of God, but we want the blessing. We want the glory. We want greater grace. We want greater glory. But we are not focusing on what God is saying. God is saying, obey my commandments. Obey. Well, hear what I'm saying. If you will diligently obey it. He said, all these blessings, in verse 2, he said, all these blessings will come my he said, all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Oh, hallelujah. Because you obey the voice of the Lord. Let somebody, for, you know, for, let's just try and go back to the basics of what the word of God says. <laughs> I'm telling you, the word of God cannot change. Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word. My word, put me in remembrance of my word. What did I promise you? It's time for us to go back to the basics of letting what God is saying concerning us be established and fully established. And especially because they are, the young ones are looking at us, the young ones. I'm telling you, when you begin to psych what they, they think, and I'm, I'm talking about the young ones and the way things are going on the earth, let's. Step into this greater grace, greater glory Amen. through the word of God, through the instruction that has been given to us. Thank you. So that we will not be a generation that knew not the Lord. But we focus on the things, the glory of it. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you listening to hallelujah. what the, Lord of, the word of God is saying? Amen. Great Thank grace you. is coming upon you. Thank but you, even in the book of Titus 2, I think from verse 13, the Bible said the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to Amen. all men. You know, teaching us to say no to ungodliness. Amen. The, because grace, when we hear grace, oh, God, God doesn't mind. Oh, grace. I don't, no, that's not the grace I'm talking about. 
That's not the kind of grace I'm talking about. I'm not talking about grace of doing whatever you like. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Titus 2, Pastor Remy. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. I'm not talking about the kind of grace that, oh, you can do grace of God covers me and you're living in sin and you don't want to change. You don't want to repent. You're just doing things the way you want. No, the grace of God, the true grace that, you know, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It, it, Titus 2 from verse 11, he said, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the, in the present age. Are you listening to that? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because we are the representative. We are the ambassadors of Christ. Amen. We are the one, he said, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus. Yes. I hear so many people say, oh, please, oh, don't be preaching. Eh, Jesus should come. Oh, Jesus shouldn't come. Eh, and no, be now where they enjoy my life. What are you enjoying? Mm. <laughs> you understand? Because if, you, if you're looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God, and Savior Jesus, you see that it will put you, no, but, I mean, I don't know, I'm not saying anybody's, but, but there might be people that are, but it, it will make you to start walking. The Bible said the Amen. part of the just is a shining light, a shine brighter and brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Thank you. Lord. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We're stepping into this realm of greater glory. But we're not stepping into it carnally. We're, we're stepping into it, you know, in relationship with Christ. We're stepping into it as ambassadors of Christ. As, as people that God can, have you considered my servant? Have you considered my daughter? Have you, you know, we have to come to that place. You know, if you look at um, Romans 8, hallelujah. You understand? The Bible says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. That walk not after the flesh. The people that preaches this grace of deception doesn't tell you, they don't tell you that. He said, those that walk not after the flesh. Verse 1, he said, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to flesh, but according to the Spirit. They just tell you, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. That's, that's where they stop. But here I say, those that walk not after the flesh. Praise God. It's time for us to begin to walk in the spirit. Walk, do the will of God. It's time for us to make a decision that God use me. Who shall I send? Amen. The year Uzziah died, King Uzziah died. The Bible says Isaiah saw the Lord. That's when he now saw that he, you know, he's a man of filthy lips and he said, woe is me, I'm undone. And the Bible said the angel took the coal from the altar Amen. and put in his mouth and yes. you know, sanctified his mouth. And then he heard a voice Amen. that said, who shall I send? Who will go for us? And he said, here I am, send me. In the midst of trying to prosper and the glory and whatever we want God to do in our life, please let's put our mind on God, here I am use me here i am you know i believe that the moment we 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 have this in our heart the holy spirit takes over the holy spirit begins to propel you to do what you don't even know that you have the capacity to do god will begin to withhold you from sin the bible he said to abimelech i am the one that withheld you from sinning against me god will withhold you now you know that there is something you have something to protect god is bringing us to that place of knowing that we we have something to protect we we are role models to people there are people there's a generation coming behind us that is copying us and what kind of influence are we rubbing off on them our greater glory will be glory that amen. when we look back we'll know that indeed we please god amen. and heaven will be rejoicing amen. we will not be in the category of people that god will say i see we read the book of noah the bible said god re, re, god regretted creating man because the intent of man's heart was was evil continually People like Saul, God regretted making Saul a king because he didn't want to obey God again. Yes. Let's not be in that category. Amen. Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let, let's quickly look at 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10 as we are almost rounding up. 
Oh, great grace is coming upon you. It's coming Amen. upon your family. It's coming upon your ministry. It's coming upon your business. Great grace Amen. for Amen. greater glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Great Amen. grace, Amen. great Amen. grace, great favor, Amen. unmerited favor Amen. that you cannot even imagine. God is taking you Amen. oh, to that place that you will know that indeed, it is your season. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You, it's your season. It's hallelujah. your time. Bless. And indeed, it's your turn. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank First Corinthians 15, 10, he said, but by the grace yes. of God, I am yes. what hallelujah. I am. Hallelujah. And his grace towards me was not in vain. Mm. Hallelujah. But I labor more abundantly than they, they all. Yes. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. Amen. Amen. By the grace Amen. of God. Amen. I'm telling you, God is, you. God is empowering you. God Amen. is anointing you. Amen. God is preparing you. That by the grace of God, Amen. you begin Amen. to do what you know. Amen. Paul that was speaking, Amen. Paul was not a direct apostle of Christ. I mean, he's not among the people, the disciples that walk with Amen. Christ. But, oh, he contacted this grace. Amen. This Amen. power came on him. Amen. And he did more than the Hallelujah. people that walked with Jesus. Amen. God is anointing somebody Amen. in this season. Believe it or not, Amen. it doesn't matter how the world is making it look like, Amen. oh, church, church has Amen. no problem. Amen. It's the people that have problem. Amen. Because the word of God has not changed. Amen. There is nothing that has changed. Hallelujah. Jesus Amen. is still coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time for us to rise up. <laughs> the grace of God upon our life will yes. begin to work. Yes. As God is present, you know, one thing that um, Pastor Remy, that they, when the man that said, Jesus, I want to follow you, he said, yes. Jesus said, go and sell everything you have yes. and then give it to the, give the proceed to the poor yes. and follow me. And the Bible said the man was kind of yes. depressed yes. and, yes. and he, he didn't follow Jesus again. Yes. And Peter said, and Jesus said, oh, how is it that, how difficult is it for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And Peter said, ah, we've left everything and followed you. Yes. We have left everything. How can you say how difficult? And Jesus said, you know, it, it would be like the, the, a, a camel passing through the eye of the needle, but not needle as in the thread, needle with thread, but a little door, they say in Israel, that the camel is so difficult for the camel to pass through that door. But what he's talking about is people that love this money. They lo they, the, the root of all evil is money. The, the love of money is the root of all evil, not, the, not money. Money is good. Amen. The Bible says money answereth all, all things. things. Yes. Money is a defense. Amen. As a matter of fact, like ministry, without money, you're going nowhere. Mm. There's nothing that can happen mm. without funds. Mm. There's nothing you can, I'm telling you. So money is not the root of evil. It's the love of money. Because that man loved that wealth more than his eternal life. That's why he walked away. And Jesus said to Peter, you will be blessed in this season a hundredfold. And in the time to come, you will have eternal life. Amen. That will Amen. be your portion. Amen. Jesus said, what will it profit us if we gain the whole world and we lose our soul? We will not lose our soul in this Amen. season. Greater grace is coming Amen. upon you. Amen. And greater Amen. glory Amen. is the end result. Amen. And in the midst of this greater Amen. glory, Amen. you will see that your love for Christ will increase. Amen. It will increase. Amen. It will increase. Amen. The joy. And the whatever you're Amen. doing in this Thank season, please, let's Amen. not just be online. Amen. As we be online, as we tune in online, Amen. as we pray online, Amen. let's also be in the house of God. Amen. Let's not forsake the assembly Amen. of the brethren. brethren. Hallelujah. Let's not Thank forsake you. our altars. Mm. Oh, praise yes. God. I pray that the Lord of hosts will overshadow you like never before. Amen. And the power of the Holy Ghost yes. will overshadow you. And meet you at the very, very, very point of your need. Yes. That the glory of God will be revealed upon your life. By the power in the Amen. name that is above Amen. every name. He is God all by himself, and he will meet you Amen. at the very point of your need. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Adam Amen. Asise, may the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. Oh, that the anointing of greater grace rest on you tonight. Oh, anointing of greater grace, anointing of greater grace. Udoni, but may the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. The anointing of greater grace, greater grace, anointing of, of greater grace rest on you. Anointing of, let you your heart desires, all your heart desires, I agree with you. Amen. That is you, that which God Amen. has ordained for this season. You will bring forth your fruit 
in your season, Amen. in this your season, Amen. and your leaves shall not wither. Amen. And whatever you do shall, shall prosper. prosper. That business is completed. Amen. Oh, by the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. The glory of God is revealed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, la In Ketchi but the power of the Holy Ghost overshadows you for greater grace. Ah, male shatter. The end result indeed is greater glory. The anointing of ease, the anointing of fruitfulness. Oh, it's been released upon you tonight. By the power in the name Amen. of Jesus, le mashanda kasuta yaba, le makusa ta Mike osa obayena. May the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you for greater grace, greater grace. Ah, le mashata yaba. The hand of God upon your ministry. Ah, may the Lord strengthen your hand and make way for you, even where there is no way. By the power in the name that is above every name, le mashanda raba kosa. In this season, the anointing of ease is resting on us. Oh, Rashanda Kusatayam. Sal, Sal, Swag, Queen. Eba. May the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. Oh, Rama Kusatayaba. Anointing of great grace. Anointing of actualization. Anointing of boldness. Boldness. What God is saying, do. Don't begin to weigh. Oh, this is too much. No, no, no. The Lord say, wait on me. Allow me to do it. Hallelujah. When the Lord say, go, he's with you every step of the way. And he will bring it to pass. By the power in the name of Jesus. Oza Mary say, may the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. Oh, Malika Zunde Hayababa. That which you're desiring from God, I agree with you today. I speak it into existence. I decree and I declare it shall come to pass. Every burden is lifted. Every burden is lifted off your shoulder. And that great grace is resting upon you. That from this day henceforth, it will be from answer to answer. From testimony to testimony. To the glory of God. By the power in the name that is above every name. Malika Zunde John Davis. May the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. The anointing of great grace, great grace, great grace, greater glory is coming upon you by the power in the name of Jesus. Every gathering of the enemy is against you. Oh, is scattered by the power in the name of Jesus. Every power that is after your health, after your, your, your life and destiny, by the power in the name of Jesus, that yoke is broken because your, 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 your destiny you have not even started. The Lord said you have not even started and God is taking you on an eagle go swing Amen. or into that which he has prepared Amen. for you by the power in the name of Jesus male shandara bakosata oh makusata ah, man of god <laughs> Pastor Wale Baba Tunde, may the lord bless you man of god may the lord lift you Amen. and may the lord continue to enlarge your territory and may the lord continue to Amen. use you to pour into Amen. us and be a blessing to the world that even in this next level of your assignment mm. greater glory Amen. greater glory Amen. the nations of the world will see and they will experience the anointing the power and the glory that will manifest Amen. through you that you, the, your footprint will be seen in the nations of the world Amen. by the power in the name of Jesus Father we give you praise Amen. we give you honor Amen. Father we give you adoration Amen. be thou exalted a woman of God in God's care. May the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. Great grace for greater glory. May the Lord overshadow you like never before. That which God has ordained to happen in your life and ministry in this season. The anointing of ease. The anointing of fruitfulness. The men, the women, the gift of men. Uh, to be able to do that which God has ordained. Lord, let that power rest on her today. Oh, anointing of ease. Anointing of ease. Anointing of speed rest on you tonight. Amen. By the power in the name that is above every name. Ancient of days, we thank, thank you and we you, give Father. you praise. Hallelujah. Father, we glorify you. And even as we continue in this fasting, that you will, uh, there's a song that says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord. Let the meditations of our hearts, Amen. even as we are seeking the face of God, be acceptable in his sight. The words of our mouth Hallelujah. be acceptable in the sight. Let it not just be that we are just fasting. No, that God will use our fasting in this season Amen. to shift every mountain before Amen. us, to break every yoke of limitation, Amen. to destroy every wall of Jericho Amen. that is a barrier between us and our breakthrough and our relationship with God and whatever it is that the enemy is taking from us. Amen. That in this season, there will be a real change. Amen. And the glory of God will be revealed. Amen. May the Lord bless you mightily. I love you. And Jesus loves you more. Amen. May the Lord continue to 
enlarge your territory. Amen. May the Lord continue to make way for you even where there is no way. Amen. The Bible says, wherever the word of the king is, there is power. I know that the word of God is released on this platform. Amen. And there is power for your miracle. There Amen. is power for your healing. There is power for your restoration. There Amen. is power to endorse you in that whatever it is you're desiring from God and the season is now I Amen. speak it into existence Amen. that it shall come to pass Amen. that the glory of God will surely be revealed Amen. in Jesus name God bless you all Hallelujah. thank you so much thank you so much tomorrow again six o'clock God bless you thank you so much